Hey everyone, this is Rachel, and today I'm here with a new scrapbooking process video. Thanks so much for joining me here, and I hope you enjoy. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome, and I would love it if you would become a subscriber. You can also click on the notification bell so you always know when I have a new video up. All right, folks, let's get going. Hey everyone and welcome back to For the Love of Homemade Kits. I am making my second layout today and I thought I would go ahead and try to get used this uh, mixed media background that I had made previously that was part of the recipe for this kit. However, I do want to add a little bit more mixed media to it. So I pulled out this Tim Holtz stencil and this Nuvo Glacier Paste in Quicksilver and I learned this trick from Amy R for Prairie Paper and Art, paper, something along those lines. She's a card maker and she was saying how using press and seal just helps keep the moisture in so your mixed media doesn't dry out. So far, it seems to be working. Um, I have I've only had it for like a month or two doing that, so we'll see. All right, so I'm going to go ahead before I get you guys put on fast forward, I will say two things. First, if you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. Second, in the description box below will be a link to all of the ladies participating in the For the Love of Homemade Kits videos, so make sure you check all of them out. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so I wanted to keep my background to be very cohesive along with my papers. So I'm going to go through what I've picked out and I'm going to stick to a color scheme where all I'm using is black, white, pink, and silver. So I've pulled out the other things, the other pieces of paper that don't fit this particular color scheme and this is what I'm going to use. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is map my main photo in the black, pink, and white striped paper from Seven Paper, which used to be a line uh, Studio Calico had, but it's been several years since they've created things like that. I flip over the other side and use the black and white hearts for the other mat, and I'm not going to have that be a full mat, but have it run off uh, rather than just be a full double mat. And then I'm going to use the pink and white uh, floral on a grid as just kind of a little shelf for my main photo to line up on. And then I'm going to trim um, just little pieces of that I cut off the main mat. And I'm going to go ahead and use that as a shelf for the three by four photo that is not the main photo I'm using, uh, rather than it's kind of like an offshoot of the main photo we were using. So the reason I wanted to have all of this set up before I started was because I wanted to make sure my stencil wasn't wasted in the sense that you could see a majority of it because I really wanted that swirl you see with the stars. Now for Christmas, I had received some Pixie stencil spray. So I gave it a shot and it actually works quite well, even though it's not great when you go to do the second one. It's you have to like I had kind of had to try to poke it down. Um, but it worked quite well. And I was very happy with the way it worked. So definitely something I will be using again. But definitely probably something more for cards than scrapbooking. So I went ahead and did the glacier paste. One thing about the Nouveau Glacier Paste is it looks like it's going to be textured, but it actually dries flat. So what I went ahead and did was I took the same stencil and I added some more pixie spray to it, and then I slightly canted it. So it was still in the same place, but you could see both the silver and then the pucker up pink from Shimmer's Texture Paste that I used for the second layer. And I was super happy with the way that looks. And then I'm like, you know what? You went crazy with all of the stars, so why end there? One of the things I'd added to my um, my homemade kit were these chunky star glitter, um, and that's actually from American Crafts from a color pour uh, when a color pour was super hot 
sauce. Uh, I had gotten some as a gift and did some um, a couple years ago, and I'm a little crooked here, I apologize. Uh, so I went ahead and created a third section of the stars. Oh, Ms. Xanthi decided to eat my ATG glue, so I had to go and fix that. Hmm, yeah, awesome. So you see, I've got the big stars in silver, the big stars in pink, and then the little chunky glitter stars as well. Now, because all of this is really um, gessoed, I do a mix of ATG and liquid glue. The ATG gives it some temporary hold, but because of the gesso, it doesn't like to hold permanently. So I add the liquid glue as well, and that really bonds much better in the long run than the ATG for the uh, paper. Now, I also use my Art Glitter Clear Glue uh, for the glue for the stars, simply because Art Glitter Clear Glue was actually created to hold glitter, so my idea was that it would work well to hold glitter. I know, shocking. All right, so I'm moving on to my title. I'm using these Dear Lizzie black and white thickers for my title. It's a long title, and I've got several packages of this one. I think I only bought one, and then the others I got in different grab bags, and it's fine because I really like them. So my entire title is going to, sorry, the majority of my title is going to be in this black and white. And then I'm going to use some of the joining words in uh, a pink that came in the Simple Stories flat alphas that I also had in my kit. Now I did add liquid glue to those because um, even though they're flat, uh, the gesso, once again, I wanted to make sure that would work. So another thing I'd put in these uh, in this kit were these freckled fawn glitter stars. I've got all the stars going on. And to me, this made a lot of sense because uh, we were in Dallas, or we were right outside of Dallas. We were in Plano when these photos were taken. And to me, I always think of stars when I think of Texas. So it's just something that's like a, an association in my brain. So here are the pink stickers I used for the word we and for the word the. I did have to MacGyver an H out of a B, but it's totally fine. So my entire title is We Rock the Group Shot. Uh, and I'm going to be talking about how uh, when you get together for a crop as a bunch of uh, scrapbookers, you know, we always get the best type of group shots. You can see we're all on a set of stairs. We're all sitting down. And then the bottom photo is actually a selfie my friend uh, Maria took while we were taking, uh, we were doing a, a little fun group shot where we all had our phones out and we were taking selfies whilst all on the stairs together. So it was just super duper cute. Uh, I'm also going to, I also chose that pink paisley sticker that said good times. I liked it because it was black and pink and I really wanted to stick with that color. We're almost all wearing shirts that are pink and gray so it worked well in my brain to go with this color scheme. So I pulled out a pretty little studio label cut apart that was not originally in my kit but I couldn't draw I couldn't write on this background paper because of the gesso once again the gesso requires you know specific things whether it was being um, the type of glue you use or the type of you know things that are going on in instance having to use a label or a sticker to do journaling rather than writing on the paper so I'm also pulling in all of the silver stars uh, the stars came in silver white and gold and I figured I'm just going to go ahead and use all the silver stars. There are a lot of silver stars going on this page and then I'm just grabbing random heavy things from my stash to um, kind of just put some pressure on them while they are drying. I will say I'm probably using more stars than I usually would but it was going to be that I only ended up with two stars left. And I was like, I'm never just going to use two silver stars. So we're just going to add all the stars and be perfectly happy with it. And I really am. I really love the way this turned out. I was super happy with all of my mixed media. I loved all the 
shapes, the star shapes with all the different medias. So I was really, really quite happy with what ended up happening with this layout. So once I, I'm running out of heavy things here, I have to say, um, but once I get all the stars added, I'm also going to add those pink enamel hearts that are from Bella Boulevard. I'm also going to add a couple of the Maggie Holmes uh, word and phrase stickers and those I'm going to add extra glue to once again just because of all of the gesso. So once I get all of these glued down and I'm trying to you know, get around with my uh, my little heavy things, uh, I do start adding those enamel hearts. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to remind you there is going to be a link to the January For the Love of Homemade Kits playlist in the description box below. So everyone who has videos and kit shares for the month of January will all be in that um, playlist in the description box below. If you have any questions whatsoever about something I used or a technique I did, you can totally drop a comment and I will be more than happy to answer you. All right, so I've got everything going on so far. I'm debating whether or not to add those enamel dots from Chamel, and I finally decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I want something, the stars are so big and a lot of the hearts are quite big, but then the mixed media is so small. I wanted something that wasn't mixed media that was on the small side. So I'm adding a pink dot or a pink triangle or a black dot or a black triangle to each of the embellishment areas. And that is going to finish off my layout for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. If you have any questions, like I said, just leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys. Don't forget to check out all the other ladies and bye.